Hello, I'm back again with another live stream, and uh, this time I'm delighted to be joined by Helen Truman Howe, who is, let's get this right, she's the founder of Heels and Brogues Group and the co-founder of Northeast Network, and she's going to talk to us about how to build your network and create new opportunities for yourself and others through it. So thanks for joining us, Helen. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. Thank you very much for the last minute invite yesterday. So, um, yeah, so I'm not really prepared for the day. However, I do like to talk a lot, so I'm sure I'll be all right. Um, you are always, you are always, you are always ready. <laughs> I think I was talking before I was walking, um, most definitely. So how to grow your network and make other people's networks successful and grow your business through networks. So with me personally, um, I didn't do any networking, didn't do any business, didn't do anything at all um, until around about 2016 when I decided to complete my degree, go find my job, my career, my first career, um, and then got introduced to the world of networking because I was in a business development role and you have to network to be able to grow your business. And to be quite honest with you, people do not appreciate telephone calls, cold calls, LinkedIn messages when they don't know you, selling their products and services. You'll never, ever, ever be successful in business by doing doing those strategies. Um, so a lot of networking events, a lot of coffees with people, um, just basically a really down-to-earth approach of building my network and getting to know people. Um, speed on a couple of years later, I decided to... I actually really like networking and I was really good at networking. So I thought I'm going to open my own networking business because I believe I can help others um, grow their businesses as well through the power of networking. So I started off with Heels Network um, in 2018, which was a women-only network, which was hissed upon by a lot of, uh, a lot of the community. But um, we do have boys clubs and we have girls clubs and it's just it's not a sexist thing. It's just because I wasn't seeing enough females networking. Um, quite quickly, um, that rapidly grew, um, and I also launched it in Heels and Brogues, which was fab. And because of that, we, we grew an absolutely massive network with 75 to 150 people coming to events. That was brilliant. That networking strategy was brilliant, having covers of people, getting to, to know people on a relaxed basis. Um, over time, I've decided that, you know, at the end of the day, we do network because we want to get business out of it. So I decided that a more structured approach would be better so we can actually do referrals, get to know each other, build relationships with one person from each sector and all of that. So we've launched North East Network, which we've got two running groups at the moment, which is Team Valley Business Group and Southern Business Group. That's gone brilliant. Um, I launched it in the middle of lockdown, which people be thinking, oh, my God, what are you launching networking events for in the middle of lockdown? Um, but to be quite honest with you, we haven't just come out of this as grown out businesses, but we've also made a lot of friends out of it as well. In turn, grows your business. So in the middle of lockdown, like a lot of the country, um, redundancies have happened, people have lost a job. I was no exception to that. Um, so in the middle of it, I decided to open Heels and Brogues Group, which was scary and daunting. Um, got offered a couple of jobs only because, well, four jobs, only because of my fantastic network and the network I've built since, over the years since um, coming, coming at the business community in 2016. And I decided it was time for me um, after the massive network I've built and all the friendships I've made and all the wonderful deals I've done for people who I've been in contact with that it's time for me to go self-employed and set up my own business. Yeah. Um, had it not been for this wonderful network and what, what, what we've achieved so far, I wouldn't have been successful like I, like I have been. Um, so networking is key. Have as many covers, as many inappropriate conversations as you possibly can, building friendships with people, because people buy of people. They don't buy of robots. So yeah. that's my take on it. Yeah, no, it's fine. A lot of people talk about people um, buy of who they know, like, and trust. So that's, that's a good thing to say. So you say it must work at some point where it's more calling and I know you do have sales teams and they're just hitting the phones and like call call eventually you might get lucky but the the fail your rate must be it's such a waste of time for everyone's time like nobody likes a call call like um but like you say if, if you're getting to know people and uh, there's another lady Victoria Fleming who's really good at sales and she talks about 
stop thinking of, as like selling at people, but you're, you're providing solutions for people. And I think that's why you do well uh, through, through your networking and, your, and, and all the stuff that you do, because you're always thinking, who do I know that you would benefit from meeting and how, how is that mutually beneficial to make that introduction? So, mm-hmm. just, I mean, so that's, that's what you're doing all the time. And from the first time I met you, I could tell you were, that's the way you think. You're always like, it's not how do I, how do I get one over or how do I win or how does that person get a deal and win? It's like, how does everybody benefit from this introduction and this this relationship and this network? Mm-hmm. That's 100% how it works. So we start, started off as a recruitment. I started in the kitchen, right? Okay, I'm starting as a recruitment company. Um, I did my first deal before I had an email address. Um, it was crazy. And I waited and waited and waited to send an invoice because I didn't have a bank account associated with that company. It was a great feeling. After a couple of, basically, we'll work around the clock for a couple of months. And now we're a complete brand of um, recruitment, employment law, um, HR and litigation. Um, so we built an absolutely really fantastic, respected brand. We've got a business coming in from all avenues for all sectors that's involved in the brand. So it's very, very exciting. Um, I'm getting my card. I think you might be on here listening now. Actually, I've got my card getting dropped off by Andrew Clark from Northern Re Vehicle Leasing. He's part of my network. Um, so I've got a nice car coming now. Colin Elric, who's part of my network, did my financing for that vehicle. Um, I had one of my networks here for a cover because he'd uh, introduced him to sell one of my neighbor's house yesterday so he's just put that on the market so it's it's how it works so because we've got a massive network i mean we're growing our network up to 40 people per group and we've got people in every single sector but for me it, i don't do business with everybody i do honest clean business and I think that there's never a dodgy deal in this. Um, I have a different approach with recruitment. I take five contracts on at a time. Um, I dedicate my time as a personal assistant for each company. I would never send you a blanket email. Um, I would never place a candidate and then pinch that candidate and then put them somewhere else for financial gain. Um, it's very much about how we, we can all win and grow together. Um, so I work closely with a lot of businesses in the Northeast. But everybody becomes friends. So it's like, yeah, you know, I don't think there's anybody I do business with that I don't, I don't actually go to the pub with now. Well, there is because we're not allowed to go to the pub with people at the moment. But, you know, in a normal world, in the real world, um, I would ring every single one of them and say, right, it's Friday, it's five o'clock. Is anybody, is anybody heading down the pub for a pint? And I think that's what it's all about, building those relationships. And people appreciate that. That you're yeah. not just selfish. You haven't just got your own interests at heart. You know, you see the value, the added value of everybody working together and collaboration on businesses is absolutely massive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There was it? <clears throat> there was an interview on Monday with uh, Tony Robinson. I, I don't even remember the guy with the hat, the beard, and the, the hat, fedora hat. Yes. <laughs> so we were talking in that interview about um, not taking on employees, but working with freelancers, part-time freelancers, and that's how that's a smarter, often a smarter way of, of doing yeah. this. And, and if you've got a good network, then you know the right people to bring in at the right time, and that, that's that's beneficial. Because often, the, well, I find that people who are the, the, best, the, the best skilled in, in a particular role, they don't want a job. They want to do their own thing. They're busy doing their own thing, but they'll happily work with the on projects or on, or on a freelance basis, but that's a, that's a really smart way of tapping into your network to find the right people to, to do the job. In my experience, I totally agree, 100%. And um, what I've quite noticed, I've noticed about this about myself as well, because guess what? I'm not perfect, right? I've got flaws. I own my flaws. I know what they are. Um, but I've got more emails coming to my email address now now I'm self-employed than I ever did when I worked for somebody else, even though I was good at the job and I give me 100%. And I think that when you work for a job, so when you take on a member of staff, even though they might be totally, totally, majorly qualified and absolutely awesome at the job, they haven't got the hunger and the fire in the belly Mm -hmm. to overachieve in it. Mm-hmm. You know, and when you're self-employed, I mean, I'm working 12, 14 hour days, Monday to Friday at the moment, and I'm working weekends, I kind of put my phone down, but you know what, I'm dead excited because it's for me. Mm-hmm. So everything I do is for the success of my business, my brand, my partners, and I don't feel overworked or anything because it's for me. So I generally think um, collaborating with more self-employed people who've 
who've got the hunger to succeed, who've got the hunger to support and do an absolutely fantastic job. It's great. Plus, you don't get any HR nightmares that way, do you? <laughs> you do. You know where to come. <laughs> yeah. That's spot on. And, and also, uh, well, like you said, you, you work with people that you like. Yeah, you 100%. You're not stuck working with people that you, you cannot stand. Like, well, that, that always, like, every job I've had, yeah, you don't necessarily want to hang out with these people but you're stuck with them in the team but like when you're working for yourself or part time or freelance you can choose who, who you work with and you can even more so now you can work on your own from home and as and when you want to when it, when it's convenient for you mm -hmm. 100% I mean I, I um, obviously I'm working from my kitchen at the moment my kitchen is my office yeah, yeah. Um, it is, it is for everybody. I've got an office in the back. I don't like sitting in it. I like sitting in the kitchen. But um, sometimes you'll see us at the David Lloyd or what have you, just sitting outside with a laptop and a cup of coffee. It's just a great, it's a great like balance. And I think as well with what's, I mean, God, it's been terrible what's gone on with COVID. I mean, who would have thought we would ever be in the middle of a global pandemic? This is the stuff that you see in films, right? You never think you're going to live it. Um, however, I do think that, it's changing, it's going to change the way we work, work and the way we think for the better. And I think a lot of employees now, the ones that used to micromanage you and insisted that you sat in an hour and a half traffic in the morning to get you back to work and you had 20 minutes for your dinner and all this sort of stuff. It's made employees realise what valued staff they've got and in actual fact they can do a cracking job at home. And I think it's going to save on costs of office space and like obviously meeting rooms and things like that and i just think that hopefully people have a different mindset yeah yeah i think it's, it's going to be more like task-based work so it's like as long as the work gets done it doesn't matter how many hours you work on it or mm -hmm. what hours you work on it instead of that idea that you have to be sat at your desk that idea of you you know like lots of people sit at the desk they're not doing any work but just no, they're they're not. at the work at the desk like the boss is happy but like yeah. where people who might be out and about and and um, but they're getting shit done and they're making things happen like like you're always doing stuff and like I know you've uh, do you think you're unemployable now? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm never going back. I'm never going back to being employed. Um, well, I hope I'm not. Anyway, I hope I'm not cap in hand and uh, my future employees not watching this video when it all goes terribly wrong. <laughs> never say no. That. I love it. You told me for a long time, from the day that I met you, as well as other people, you always told us that I need to be self-employed. Um, but, but, but the time had to be right for you. That's, it was the same with me. Like, I mean, even even Brad, Brad Burton, I talked to him about more all the time. When I was talking to him for years about going self-employed and never never quite felt ready to do it. And when I did, he was like, about fucking time, you dickhead. <laughs> Like three years ago, <laughs> but I, I, wasn't ready. I, I, I needed to be ready for it, and um, and when I, and when I did, it was the, the time was right. But um, do you want to say a bit about the heels and brogues? Are you still doing? Are you still going to be doing some heels and brogues stuff, or is that just on on hold? So, okay, so basically, um, the heels and brogues, I can't do everything because um, I'm only one person sitting in the kitchen running a business. Um, and to be quite honest with you, I am. Um, snowed under with work i'm not going to complain about how busy i am and um, the business has grew rapidly um, and it's amazing i'm working hard now to take on fully qualified staff in the future and um, because it's a, a kind of duplicate yourself heels and brogues as a brand has done an absolutely amazing job for me and um, it's got me where i am now and that's why i would have been stupid not to call a company heels and brogues and it's group for a reason so we can grow um, partners can grow in the future and we'll take on the right opportunities at the right time. At this present time, I've shut the doors on partners. We've got an absolutely amazing brand. We need to focus on what we're doing now and what our offering is to the public for business solutions because uh, we've got an amazing offering and an amazing team. Um, so the Northeast Network is a, the, the strongest networking company that we've got now however heels and brogues are still going to be supporting i'm going to be doing the charity balls when we can socialize without killing each other not right now um i'm looking at doing that and um, probably to november next year all being well in that and um, we were in a different place then however i'm using that as a corporate responsibility so customers and companies that support us and use our services i'll be giving them um, a free table for the ball Right. Um, so I think it's a really, really good corporate. Um, it's ticking the boxes for that as well. 
Another thing that I'm actually doing as well um, is I'm working, I'm always doing stuff for charities. Um, I always believe in giving back. You know, um, it's very, very important to me and I have worked with a lot of charities over the years and I still continue to do so. Um, all of my recruitment that comes in from partners of the Red Sky Foundation, mm -hmm. I'm donating 5% uh, cash back directly to the charity um, for the children um, with the, the Heart Foundation, obviously for um, machinery and equipment. Um, so I'm working alongside Sergio. We've got an article going in Team Valley Business Group, um, sorry, Business Group Magazine, and that's going in October edition, and that shows you yeah, about all the partners that I'm involved with, what our commercial offering is to all the businesses in the Northeast, and exactly what we're doing with the donation to the charity as well. So I think it's really important to um, get behind things like that. Yeah. Um, while you're working and not lose sight of things. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's all going great and all going in the right direction. Great. Um, well, it's, it's good to do yeah, because your events are excellent. Because like, it is, it's it's for business people, but it's social and it's fun and uh, it's a chance for people to let their hair down a bit. And, um, yeah, loads of thought goes into it, loads of thought and effort. So, and your ball last year was was fantastic. Like. So, um, <laughs> it's good, good to see that you're doing that again. But the uh, the northeast group, um, northeast network. How do how do people get involved in that? So with the northeast network, it works on the principle that um, there's one person from each category. The reason being is we don't dilute business, and you build relationships with that person. You get to know them, like them, trust them, to want to refer business to them. So we've grown um, each group up to forty. So we've got the team value one, and we've got the Sunderland one as of yet. We are due to launch the Newcastle one once I've completed successfully for these two groups, which are well on the way right now. Um, with this, a lot, I know a lot of groups, I'm not mentioning obviously the group's names, but a lot of groups charge um, in excess of £950 a month plus VAT, a month, a year, sorry, um, plus VAT, um, to be part of their group plus um, obviously a normal nominality fees of £10 for a bait and sandwich each time. With the North East Network, we do all of the same things but more and our fee is only 200 pound a year but it's not a fee of 200 pound a year where we keep that and we're winning we're reinvesting that back into our members and we're really excited about that so we're building a website at the moment called northeast network and it has products of which is the team valley business group and the Summer Business Group and whatever groups that we shall launch in the future. And obviously, Eels and Brokes is a product of that. And all member details will be on there. Um, all member profiles will be shared. Um, all members' businesses will be highly promoted um, within that network. And also, we'll be creating opportunities for people to come aboard as affiliate partner schemes so we can actively promote and generate leads naturally for people's businesses to grow their businesses. So, yes, it's a £200 fee, but you're, you're getting much more than your money's worth to invest £200 into the network. So, to be honest with you, I never wanted to make money off networking, and I'm not. Um, it's, but it's important that I'm not at a financial loss, because when I was running the heels and brogues, it was a financial loss, because um, the events were free, um, and obviously there was a cost attached to putting those events on. However, I always look at the bigger picture with networking. So, yes, you have to put a lot in. Yes, it's time-consuming to run a networking business. However... The success it far it far outweighs um, because obviously I do lots of business with the people that I come across and it's the bigger picture that I always look about with networking and um, sometimes it's it, it, well in the start it was a long game but obviously now you know people get to know you and um, when you're everybody, everybody knows who you are and it, the, even if they haven't met you do you know what I mean just because of your network because of Newcastle start a week and what you do in the community. And it's the same with the networking when you're all over LinkedIn and advertising yourself. Um, people generally know who you are, they know what you do, and they automatically come to you to engage. Mm -hmm. So it's great. Yeah. yeah. I, think, I think, yeah, even if you might have lost some money on some of the events, like like I have in the past, like, but just see it as an investment. It's like you're investing in the bigger picture and, like, you, you do it, you, you're growing this community online, offline, you go on your network, you're giving back, you're supporting each other. Um, but it is a, it's an investment. It's a long-term investment in, into your business. So it's not, nothing's lost. Like um, you've done some amazing stuff and you wouldn't be doing what you do now if you hadn't done all of that. So um, if I, seriously, if we, if we realistically look at things, had I not networked or did all the things I did to get me down to the path that I was, 
Mm-hmm. And I decided to set up my own business sitting in my kitchen two months ago. I wouldn't have a client. Mm-hmm. I'd be ringing 300 people a day. I'd be stressed a bit. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'd probably not succeed. And I'd probably be taking a job that wasn't right for me because I needed to pay the bills. Yeah. But because of my network, because of the relationships I've built, because of the friends I've made, and the company who support us and are behind us, they've massively, massively um, helped me and my brand and my business out. So it's, it's it's great. I advise anybody who thinks, oh, networking, don't want you like talking to people. Um, I can't really be bothered. Oh, I'll have a lie in because I know we love to have half past six in the morning networking events, <laughs> um, which is really unsociable for people. And it's so easy just to turn over in bed. But, you know, get out of bed, get your backside out of bed, go and have a coffee, go and have a bacon buddy or a vegan buddy or vegetarian buddy, whatever, whatever, whatever t- takes your fancy. And, Make those connections, make the effort, put put the time in, and it'll repeat itself. Yeah, definitely. So for the um, for the, are you looking for people in Sunderland to join your group now? Because I think yes, we're looking for people in Sunderland um, to join the group. We've also got some spaces in Team Valley. We had a jam packed event this morning. Great groups, absolutely great groups. I only launched Sunderland last week. We've got another one next week, but I think Sunderland's going to be. I mean. It's going, to, it's going to be great. And do you know what? It's now more importantly than ever. We need network. We need to get them Zoom calls. We need to find. I mean, don't get me wrong. You might come to my group and say, it's not for me. And that's absolutely fine. But find a group that's right for you. I'm not advertising just my group. Find a network group. Find something that works for you because it's now more than ever important. It's more important now than it has ever been because of what's going on yeah. in the world. Because of the restrictions. Yeah, you, you've, got to, you've got to remain visible. You've got to still yes. keep, keep your face and your name out there. Because uh, yeah, we can't go back to the lockdown. No. So, um, any type of business that you're looking for? I know it's only one of each type, but is there any particular type of business that you're missing in the Team Valley Group or or the Sunderland one? Or is it just... you totally put me on the spot there, haven't you? Um, I. <laughs> Um, who am I looking for? Um, I need an electrical contractor in both. Okay. So I need a plumber in both. Right. Um, we've got a payment decorator, we've got accounts, we've got mortgage. Um, we've got quite a lot. Yeah, just literally just send us the information over and I'll tell you if I've got a category. If I haven't got a category, I'll put you on the list in the next group. It's as simple as that. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. As I'm speaking to you now, there might be more people I'd on the list to join because we've got a, a management team. We've got um, Deb Tweedy from HR. We've got um, Wendy Preffers from Gordon Brown Law. And we've got Andrew Alton from the Team Valley Group um, as well. So things change and um, they grow with, with, with the other people involved as well. Yeah. Okay, cool. But, but they have to be based... They have to be based or living in that area, is that right? So they have to be. Well, to be quite honest with you, at first it was, you must be right at the Team Valley and you must be on the Team Valley to do Team Valley business. However, we've got companies that have offices or their geographical location is across all all parts of the Northeast and they do a lot of business on the Team Valley. We put you in the group that's best suited to you. Um, to be, it's not about money for me. It's not about bums on seats. A lot of groups are, we need to fill these seats, we need to fill these seats. It needs to be right for both parties. Um, I've, 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 I've worked with people and they've told us they want to join. They were quite happy to give you £200. And I've said, you know what? I don't think the group's right for you. I think I would be stealing your money um, because I, don't, I think we would struggle referring business to you. Um, and I can quite clearly see which group one person in their industry or their personalities would fit into to be able to get the best business out of it for them. Mm-hmm. So it's it's a, a bit like business coaching. So if you come along to me, you are asking for a position, you want to see, you want to get a part of it, I'm more than happy to have a chat and would love to have you on board, but it needs to be right for you. I need to make, make sure there's a clear opportunity for you to do business. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Okay, cool. So if people want to find out if they, if they do want to get in touch or they, they want to, Suggest themselves, how do they do that? Give you a ring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so do you want to, well, just should they just message you through here? Just send you a direct message or? Send us a message um, or you can call me on 07985-427360 or email me at helen at heelsandbrokes and the and is a-n-d group.co.uk. 
Um, or link in with me, link in with me, and uh, I'll accept you on LinkedIn. We'll have a chat. I'm, a, I'm available by all avenues. I'm always happy for a chat and a cup, uh, even if it's on Zoom, um, because of the restrictions that's um, being brought in now. Yeah, love it. Okay, awesome. Well, um, I'd, well, I love meeting you. Like, I, I, like I, you're just such a awesome woman and uh and i just remember when we first met the moment i first met her, i was just like she's really special she's got everything to be successful business owner self-employed on she's an entrepreneur but um yeah and seeing you speaking last year because you spoke on day five they keep going on pivots you yeah. were you were phenomenal at that and seeing what you've done in the run up to that and since that it's just been amazing so i'm i'm really really pleased to see how well you're doing so Oh, thank you so much and you're a good friend of mine too as well and i love how successful you're becoming so yeah we'll do lots of things together in the future as well okay all right okay i'll let you get on good then. Luck for the day. bye everyone thanks for listening Riz. i hope i haven't chewed your lungs off too much see you later see you. Bye. Bye.